Those to Shim genome is the earliest human genome that has been sequenced to date. The Upper Paleolithic Ustashim man, dating to around 45,000 years ago, is a remarkable example of early modern humans from Eurasia. Discovered in the Ustashim region of western Siberia, this individual lived during a time when the Homo sapiens coexisted with the Neanderthals and Denisovans in Eurasia. Neanderthal ancestry in Ustashim was found to range from 2 to 2.6%. Unlike Neanderthal admixture segments in modern humans which are small and fragmented, the chunks of Neanderthal ancestry in Ustashim were large and indicated recent admixture. Ustashim man carried mitochondrial lineage R and patrilineal lineage K2A, which is ancestral to the widespread haplogroup N, which is common in Finland and Siberia, and O, which is common in Southeast Asia and Oceania. With PCA-based calculators, Ust Ishim man clusters with South Eurasians. With Global 25, Ust Ishim man clusters closest to Andamanese islanders followed by other South Eurasians. While with the Eurogenes K13 oracle, the Ust Ishim man scores mostly Austroasiatic followed by European, East African, and Melanesian admixtures. With FST, which uses a different mathematical method of calculation, Ust Ishim also shows highest relation to Southeast Eurasians. Moving on to Ustashim's trait predictor results. His skin color was predicted to be light brown. His eye color was predicted to be dark brown. His hair color was predicted to be black. His hair texture was predicted to be wavy. His nose shape was predicted to be rather Greek than snub. And his overall closest phenotype was predicted to be a slightly lighter version of Melanesian. While Ustashim man was East Eurasian genetically, he did not carry East Asian variants in EDAR. He also had a genotype in the PRDM16 that correlates to larger nose size and a genotype for thicker eyebrows. <laughs> Moving on to health, Usta Shim Man had a predisposition to age-related macular degeneration, vitiligo, corneal astigmatism, male pattern hair loss, thyroid cancer, lactose and persistence, and syncope. Usta Shim had below average risk for every other condition, but he had especially low risk for various epithelial cancers other than thyroid cancer especially low risk for cardiovascular issues, lower odds for autism, lower odds for bipolar type 1 and schizophrenia, lower odds for rheumatoid arthritis, and lower odds for both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Ustashim did not carry any risk variants for any rare conditions. When it comes to the warrior versus warrior trait, Ustashim is predicted to be a warrior. <laughs> Moving on to biomarkers, Ustashim man is predicted to have a higher level of vitamin D, which is good, higher level of LDL and lower level of HDL cholesterol, which is bad, typical level of glucose, hemoglobin, iron in the blood, sex hormone binding globulin, and red blood cells. Ustashim was also predicted to have roughly average blood pressure, roughly average height, but showed a genetic predisposition to shorter telomere length, suggesting a predisposition to shorter lifespan. Ustashim's predicted blood type is either type A or type O and cannot be more accurately determined due to the sample being quite low coverage. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Also check the description and the pinned comment in the comment section.